stop what you're doing for a second because I'm about to show you a Windows trick that almost no one's using, but everyone who delivers Windows 365, AVD remote apps and Azure Virtual Desktops absolutely should. So imagine this. You build these apps and desktops through Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365, Remote App, and instead of users digging through portals and asking for shortcuts or complaining, I can't find anything, those remote apps just appear in the start menu. Same place as local apps, same look, same experience. No extra launcher, no confusion. So here's the wild part. This entire feature is controlled just by one toggle or two register keys, which you can configure yourselves. And depending on how you set them, you can force the apps into the start menu or block them entirely or give users the choice. These can be configured by group policy, Intune, whatever method you want to use. So most admins don't even know this capability exists, but today I'm going to show you exactly how it works, why it matters, and how you can control it across your whole environment. All right? So that's the theory. Let's dive in. But first of all, I'm going to explain what Windows App Start Menu Integration actually does. Then we'll take a look at two register keys that control everything. Then after that, I'm going to walk you through a quick demo, showing you how to enable it, how to lock it down, or maybe you just want to turn it off entirely. So Windows App Start Menu Integration makes remote apps and desktops show up in the Windows Start Menu alongside local applications. This is great for Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365, remote app environments, or anywhere where you want remote apps to feel native to the user. Users don't need to hunt around for the published resources. They just click start and bang, they're there. They're in the start menu. Now, there's only two register keys that you need to know about to configure this, and they're located under HKey Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, and Windows App. So the first setting is sync to start menu unavailable. If this is set to anything other than zero, start menu integration is disabled completely. The setting won't even appear in the Windows app. The second key is sync to start menu config. This one controls whether integration is on, off, blocked, or user changeable. A value of zero means it's off, but the user can turn it on. A value of one means it's on, but the user can turn it off. A value of 16 locks it off completely, and a value of 17 forces it on with no user control. So that's enough of the theory. You've seen what the register settings are. Now let's head into our demo environment and we'll take a look, quick look at this feature. And if you're new here, then welcome. This is the Virtual Mac YouTube channel. And on this channel, we review the latest news on Azure Virtual Desktop, Intune, Nerdio, Windows Switches 5, and much, much more. So if that's the type of content that you like, then please click the like and subscribe button and because it really helps me grow the channel. Thank you. Okay, so let's actually now go and take a look um, at this capability. So there's two types of scenarios that you could use this for. Um, so the first type of scenario is that you could use it on a device which you're, use, you're using your users to connect to a remote desktop with, right? So the, maybe that's a published desktop that they want to connect to. Um, so the only requirement is that we have the Windows app. So you need to have the Windows app installed, ideally the latest version, otherwise this is not going to work. So once you've got the Windows app installed, you can just toggle the feature on, right? The second scenario that you could use this with is if you're already using an AVD desktop as a published desktop, then maybe you also want to launch some remote apps from that desktop as well. Okay, um, so that's another scenario which we can do. But let's go and have a look at a desktop that I'm already logged on to, right? So this is my uh, VDI desktop, which we'll just go over here. And basically, to enable it, all the user has to do is go to the Windows app. So just type in Windows app. Okay, you can see that here. So that's launching the Windows app. Now, as mentioned in the introduction, you can set the registry keys and then you can control it. So imagine if you push the Windows app power by Intune and you also configure those register settings, um, that means this will be completely seamless for the users, right? Um, the application would just appear on the start menu. So, and um, you can see here, we've got the Windows app. Um, I can see uh, I've got some desktops uh, and I've also got some applications which, which I've got access to. Let's maximize that so you can see it. Now to configure this setting, all we need to do is go into the settings menu and you can see here um, we have this new feature here called allowed remote resources to your start menu. Okay. So it's off by default. I've actually switched it on. It's just the arm off toggle switch, right? Um, and when you turn this on, basically what you're now going to see is if I go into my start menu, um, if I click on all and I go down here, so 
it'll show up with the workspace name so you can see here i've got prod workspace yeah um and it'll drop down here and then you can see there um i've got all my applications and all my desktops right so very very handy right so obviously it saves the user from having to go into the windows app and to launch those applications and they can just do from there. i mean personally I, I prefer the windows app because i think it looks looks nice but if you want seamless integration this is a really really nice feature and then just standard stuff so if i just click on adobe acrobat for example and um, you'll see that and it'll then go and launch that application um exactly the same way you would have done if you clicked it from the right app as well you can see there um, I've got Adobe Acrobat Reader, and then for example, we can do the same thing. If I go in, I don't know, let's launch Word for example, click Word from here. I can launch that from the Windows app as well. And then again, if we go back to the Start menu, I can just go into here, and I go to my workspace, and then maybe now we'll launch I don't know, PowerPoint as well. And the user experience, what you'll see as well, is quite seamless. Microsoft have actually made a lot of changes under the hood. The way that they're delivering remote apps they've basically modernized it so you can now do like windows snap and it just integrates more and it looks a lot nicer so you can see there um you can see there we've got a red and um, sort of window around it and you can see that at the bottom and um, we've got a little sign as well just to just let you know that that's a windows app but yeah this is pretty cool right i mean it just looks seamless um i wouldn't know i wouldn't know any different um if i was running out or not so that's if you want to access it inside a VDA desktop. And then again, if I just go to outside of my VDA, if I just go to outside of my VDI desktop, which I'll show you in a second, we'll have pretty much the, the same experience. All right, so let's go and have a look at that now. Okay, I'm on a virtual machine. It's not an AVD desktop. It's just a normal uh, virtual machine running on my Hyper-V infrastructure. Um, so what I'll do for this one, I'll show you how to actually enable it as well. So. All I do is if I go to here, um, and you can see here, I don't have it enabled, right? So I'm not seeing any um, of those applications. So I'm signed into, into the Windows app. So all we do is we go to settings and then flick that from off to on, right? So you can see that's now switched on. Now, the good thing about this setting as well is instant, right? So now, again, if I just go back to my start menu, I click on all, and then again, in that's my workspace, right? So you can see here, and that's the one that I've got. And then in there, I can see like all my applications. So again, same thing. All I need to do is just to click one of those applications and then that will go ahead and then launch that application for me. So simple as that. So very, very, very easy to install. Okay. And there you have it. So as you can see, because I already had the session open, um, you can see that was pretty much instant as well. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it very easy to configure for those people who have been used to using like Citrix workspace or tools from like VMware or Amisa, and um, this is a feature which they definitely missed. So it's really great that Microsoft have given us this capability because it just enables a bit more seamless integration, right? Because a lot of the time people don't know what's happening on the hub. They don't even know it's a remote desktop. They just see the applications and that's where we want to get to, right? We want to get to a stage where there's no difference. Um, I don't care where my application is hosted. I just want to use it. So this is definitely one one step further to, to giving us that capability. So yeah, that's it from this week. I know short and sweet, but there's not really much to configure this. It's just one of those really simple but really powerful features, right? That you can just turn it on and buff, off you go. Yeah, if you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments. But yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.